Hi everyone, I've missed you and I'm so glad to be back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but as you know, we were working really hard on that vintage market and I just want to share the day with you. So in this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to show you the items we worked on for the show and I'm also going to show you how we set up and how the day went. So come join us at the Finders Keepers Vintage Market in Chelsea, Michigan. It all started with this table. I bought this table off a of Facebook Marketplace for $10. I thought it was going to be a big table. To my surprise though, when I got there, it was quite a small table as you can see. Okay, so today is definitely the day of the small because I thought this table was going to be huge. I asked my son to take his Jeep and it's pretty tiny to be honest with you. But the good thing was the lady who sold me the table told me all about the Finders Keepers show, which I have been wanting to do ever since she told me about it. So my mom and I got to work on working on items for the show. I always bring a lot of the furniture pieces where my mom does a lot of the smaller items and it works out really well. Some of the furniture pieces that I worked on for the show were like this French dresser that I got off Facebook Marketplace for $75. After painting a little graphite paint on it and letting that dry, I went ahead and painted the whole dresser completely white. The dresser required two coats and then after it dried, I went ahead and took a little sandpaper and distressed it. I then went ahead and started painting all the hardware and I purposely missed spots so that it would look chippy too. I then let them dry and then I put them back onto the dresser. And this is what it looked like all finished at the show. But I'd have to say the most beautiful piece that I worked on was this very ornate buffet. I mean just look at all the detail in this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I had bought it on Facebook Marketplace. Another lady was supposed to get it, but she decided to pass on it and I went ahead and took it. Later I would find out why she passed on it. The top was a little squishy and I found that there was water damage underneath the veneer. Okay, I painted a base coat of white. And look at this. What a mess. It literally was coming up, so I had to tear it out, and I'm just gonna putty it up. See? Thank goodness for this plastic wood because I used almost a whole entire tub on the top. I originally tried to glue it down, but it just was not right because there was damage underneath. So it just needed to be ripped out. But it did turn out gorgeous, I have to say. But the most interesting piece was this farmhouse buffet that I got out of Marlette. Bought this off of Facebook Marketplace and I was able to get it for $100. This thing was pretty dirty, so I had to use that crud cutter to clean it up. After I cleaned it up, I went ahead and sanded the whole piece down. I color matched the Annie Sloan graphite paint and I painted that first coat in that. It's a paint and primer in one from Bear, and I got it at Home Depot. One of the legs had a big piece of wood missing, so I had to take the magic sculpt and repair that. What makes this such an interesting piece though, is because when I bought it, I thought the bottom was like a false kind of drawer, but guess what? It was an actual drawer and it was locked. Okay, so I bought this old hutch. I painted it, but there's one problem. There is a drawer here that is locked, and I want to know what's in it. It has a, like a skeleton kind of key lock. These have the same, and they open. They didn't lock them. So why did they lock the bottom? That's what I'd like to know. We're going to try to pick the lock. I don't know. Hopefully we can get in it. This thing was like Geraldo's vault, if any of you remember that. I was going to try to pick the lock. Yep, I even had my son trying to pick the lock of this buffet. He had watched YouTube videos that said to use an L wrench, but in the end, he wasn't able to get it open. I even texted the guy that I bought it from, hoping that just maybe he might still have the key. But nope, he didn't have the key. Well, my 
husband ended up getting this open and guess what? Nothing in it. Mystery solved, but at least I know I'm not giving away a million dollars. So there we go. Nothing. So in the end, this really did turn out to be like Geraldo's vault. There was nothing in it. But it turned out to be my favorite piece because it looks so farmhouse. After working on all that furniture, I needed a break and I found out that the Utica Antique Show was going on. So I went over there for a little bit and it was really fun and I even ran into one of our fellow YouTubers. I even bought a Jamie Ray vintage stencil from her. So I really did find some cute stuff. I bought these letters and I also found this little metal box for $6 and then I found a grain sack for 5 and again I bought that Jamie Ray vintage stencil. It ended up being a really nice break from all that work. <laughs> just rented the U-Haul. My son went ahead and no, he didn't. drove he it. Did not go this here. is my right hand man right here. Oh. That's the guy. He helps me all the time. No, it's not. Yes. He's the one who helped me get this buffet, if you remember. Everyone was writing in, you have such a great son, and he really is. He does help me so much. We absolutely filled that U-Haul. I don't think we could have got any more in there. We went to the storage unit. We picked up things that we had there. We loaded all the furniture. We went to my mom's house. That U-Haul was packed. That night, after everything was loaded, I spent time planting rosemary and lavender in cups. I got the cups from the thrift store, and I think they're just clean and classic, and I thought they would look great on our vintage display. Okay, it was totally downpouring, and we have this whole truck filled with stuff. Not good. But it says 8 o'clock, it should stop raining, so we're going to hope it bright. Donnie's helping me this morning. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. Perfect. Okay, we're getting it together. We forgot the shutters. I can't believe it. If you remember, last year my mom came up with the idea to use shutters so that we could hang things off of. She's like, you just can't put everything on a table. You need to be able to hang things. So that's what we use these shutters for. But wouldn't you know it, I forgot them. This guy right here saved the day. He had overheard us talk about not having the shutters to hang things and brought us paper clips that we could hang from a rope and it worked out perfectly. Valero, you want to wave? Valero's helping us out. Alyssa's helping us out. Thank you. Appreciate it. We still have tons of stuff that we have to set up. We have two hours, right, Donnie? Uh, yeah. Too much stuff. And we have Quinn. Hey Quinn, want to give yeah, a wave? Oh, <laughs> Jer. Jer's doing really good with the signs. Look at how he put them out. He displayed them really nice. I like that. It's looking good. Still got a lot more to unpack. Here's my sister. She helped out with the live. I finally cleaned it off. Thank Hi. you. <laughs> we couldn't have did it without you. She's helped us whoa, for two whoa, days whoa, straight. Whoa. Oh, wait. All right, I got ready? the ironing board. The ironing board is our little oh, sales okay. table. Okay. And while we were setting up, they were lining up. In the end, we managed to pull it all together and it looked beautifully displayed.
Now I know what they mean when they say it takes a village because it literally took a village of people to put this all together. Thank you so much for all your hard work and for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. You guys are the best. We had people lining up to buy our stuff, and most of the day we were busy. As a vendor, this was a complete success, and we did really well at the show. I'd like to say a special thanks to Patty and Jeanette from Finders Keepers. You girls put on an awesome show. We had a great time, and thank you so much for your hard work and all the effort you put into the show. You can find Finders Keepers Vintage Market on Facebook. I will also leave a link in the description so you can find them easily. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.